Sorry to bother you, but I'm trying to find my way to the... I don't care! It's like I'm staring directly into my future. It's a no-go on touching the hobo. Excuse me, just trying to get past. Halt, citizen! Please remain at least three feet away from me while you give me your spare change. Otherwise, I am legally obligated to inform you I will bite. P.S. Got any spare change? I'm really just looking to get by. How about five bucks? I'll contort to any shape you want for the minimum donation of five U.S. dollars. Sorry, I stopped carrying cash after I was mugged for 12 years straight by the bullies at my school. You're kind of a bummer, aren't you, kid? Can you just let me by, please? Come on, kid. Help me out here. How about a dollar? Some change? You gotta have a few quarters rattling around in that backpack of yours. I wish, but nope. Then allow me to contort my hand thusly. You're flipping me off, but I still don't have any money. All right, fine. Sorry, it's just been hard living out here with nowhere to call my own. Eh, I'm used to it. I get flipped off a lot by this bully, Kent. And teachers. And babies. Yeesh. So you'll let me buy? Absolutely. Oh, good. After a small donation. Damn it! Do you do yoga or something? Yoga? Ha! I think not. I'm a contortion artist and the greatest that ever lived. I'm known from all over the world for my feats of flexibility and the amazing ways in which I stand. Uh, strangely. How come I've never heard of you? Because you and the rest of the world are ignorant of the beauty in a man licking the sweat off his own back. I guess I still am, because that sounds gross. Oh, I suppose the ability to dislocate my shoulders and rest my scrotum on my forehead is also gross. Take it easy, Stretch. Come back when you actually have something to offer me. What a snooty prick. He's a dish that I definitely don't desire. Hi there. Welcome to our telepathy. In our fine establishment, we monitor your brainwaves and serve you a dish from your deepest desires. I'd like to make an order. Oh, apologies, sir, but we don't serve friendship here. Is there anything your kitchen can serve me? Little sir, our kitchen is ill-equipped to prepare you a prom date. Damn it! I'm starving. Can I order something for my deepest desires? Oh, I'm very sorry, sir. But we're a restaurant. We can't make you a hero here, sir. Only you can do such a thing. Oh, and by the looks of you, that's quite unlikely. Not serving me is discrimination or racist or something, I'd bet. Apologies, sir, but we serve based on our customers' deepest desires. And I'm afraid we can't grow you a giant beard. Excuse me. Tiny Monsieur, if you're applying to be busboy around here, I'm afraid we're not currently hiring children who can't even lift a baguette. I could totally lift a baguette. Would you care to put a wager on that, sir? I, uh, I'm above your silly trials. Besides, I lifted three dinner rolls just the other day. Grandma took my picture. Most impressive, sir. But don't touch the dishes. Off I go. Hi, I'm Coop. Damn, you are one fine-looking specimen, if I do say so myself. Looking good. Oh, wow, thanks. He's talking to himself, Coop, not you. So sexy. Huh. Yeah. How's the food here, anyway? All I know is everything is delicious, because I'm what's on the menu tonight, and all the ladies want some of this four-course meal. <laughs> Wait, I don't understand. Are you talking about yourself? I'm just asking how the food tastes. Looking good guy doesn't swing that way, but you can buy him a drink. 
Of course, you'll have to get in line, baby, because all the ladies are picking up the tab for my drinks. <laughs> you might be the second most narcissistic person I've ever met. The waiter told me the same thing. Guess that's just a fancy French word for attractive. <laughs> You're on fire tonight. Looking good. <laughs> so what do you do for a living? Are you a janitor too? No, but I should carry around a mop since the ladies melt under the floor whenever I'm around. <laughs> this guy. Um, okay. So what do you do? What don't I do? Actually, it's more like who do I do? Am I right or am I right? Am I right? Ugh. Don't you ever crave something more than looks and shallow conversation? Oh my god, yes, I'm so lonely. I'm so goddamn lonely. <laughs> Did you know I dry humped myself the other day? Seriously, I humped a goddamn mirror because I'm so vain and lonely. A mirror! All I want is somebody to hug me and tell me that it's gonna be okay so I can fall asleep at night without crying! <laughs> Jeez, I... I'm sorry. I, di I didn't know you were hurting that bad inside. I, uh... <clears throat> Not as much as the ladies are hurting inside after a squirting from this guy. Looking good! Yeah! <laughs> You're hopeless. Okay, uh, nice not really talking to you. Bye. They hate to see me go, but they love to watch me leave. Looking good. She does not look happy. Save the touching for the finger food. Hey, aren't you the high school janitor's wife? Ugh, ex-wife. Please, kid, can't you see I'm on a date? Will you go to prom with me? Wow, I'm flattered. Moved, actually. But kid, our love could never be. You're so underage and illegal. No, don't look at me like that with your lonely, beautiful trash bin eyes. I am only so strong. Besides, what would Libman, your janitor, aka my ex-husband, do if he ever saw us together? No, it could never be. Maybe in another life. Or semester. A simple no would suffice. So, what are you gonna order? At this point, anything. I'm starving. If only my vapid date would make up his mind. You can tell a lot about a person by what they order here. That's a good idea. You can find what their desire is pretty easily that way. Exactly. Honestly, I'd be surprised if his deepest desire isn't just a copy of himself that he can date. Besides, if all of his desires are below the belt, it'll show up as his dinner, and I'll definitely know he's a creep. Don't you think you could have a clean and exciting life together? Exciting life? Ha! Huh. His bucket list was just a list of buckets he wants to own before he dies. That's, uh, still pretty exciting, I think. I think you should give the janitor a second chance. Are you kidding me? When we met, he promised to sweep me off of my feet. At first, I thought I could overlook his love of the custodial arts. But when he would only make love on garbage day in a trash bin with a mop on my head, I could only take so much. He can only focus on one thing at a time, and I told him it was either trash or me. Well, now he's not doing either. I'm sorry. Didn't mean to disturb you while you're trying to get laid. Scram, kid. I have real emotional needs. I'm not just looking for a plate of dicks. It's a ticket wheel, so the kitchen can keep all the orders straight. It'd be a real shame if they got all their orders mixed up. Somehow. Don't worry, baby. I'll pick up the ticket. Nothing ruins a date faster than receiving the wrong order. Especially when it's an order of penises. Order up! And here you are, sir. Your plate of dicks. Bon appetit. Whoa, looking good. Mmm. What? That... that gross plate of... of dicks? Delicious. Uh, when I started dating a 
man who's constantly looking at himself in the mirror. I had no idea he'd be so full of himself. And now this is what you order? I knew men only had one thing on their mind. I just assumed it was their own. I hope you and your plate of dicks are happy. God, I made a mistake. Dating sucks. I might as well go back to what's comfortable instead of trying to find what makes me happy. I'm going back to my ex-husband. Is he... is he mopping the street? I don't imagine he's been cleaned recently. I, uh, ruined your wife's fancy date. You... you did? For me? <laughs> oh, but why? So you'd clean up the school. That place is so trashed I got my neck stuck in a plastic soda ring and almost died like one of those sea turtles. You're right, kid. I don't deserve people like you in my life. Does this mean we're friends? Now, hold on. <laughs> Let's take it slow. Uh, this divorce is rough, and I'm in no place to make commitments yet, but I uh, appreciate everything you've done. Thanks for the dirty hug. Made all this effort totally worth it. Great. Now I'm covered in dirt and tears. Go, go, gadget arms! Damn, didn't work. I don't need a napkin. Also, I don't believe in them. They're against my religion. Sorry, but I won't be leaving a tip. Also, I don't have any money. If I wear this, does it officially mean that I'm from New Jersey? One slice of free pizza, please. Nice try, kid. But nobody gets a shot at Rod's thickness without tossing his salad in the back first. You have salads here? Mmm, no. What's your stance on pineapple? Rod is always in favor of making it easier to swallow. Nice! I like pineapple on pizza, too. Pineapple on pizza? Sick! What's on the Rod's Thick Sausage Surprise? Sorry, kid. That pie is for customers 18 or older. Preferably the sexy ones. Rod, you're not putting your penis on any of these pizzas, are you? Come on, kid. This is a legitimate Italian eatery. Okay, but I didn't hear you say no. It depends on what you order. As luck would have it, I actually have a coupon for a free pizza. A free pizza? You sure that coupon isn't expired? There's no expiration on it. Damn. Wish I could say the same about my condoms. Your what? Uh, my condiments. So, can I get that free cheese pizza? All right, why the hell not? Just don't go telling your friends I'm giving away free pizzas. Unless, of course, they're barely legal females, then you can send them my way. Deal? Uh, deal. Right on. Here you go, kid. Enjoy my thick pizza. Wish you wouldn't say it like that, but thanks. Ah, a lovely cheese pizza. Just for me. I guess today wasn't all bad. Time to head back home and scarf it down. Ah, shit! Well, 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 look who it is! Put me down! Leave me alone! Uh, at least he brought us some pizza. Come on, guys, that's my lunch! And dinner! Relax, Pipsqueak. We saved you some. Extra, extra, read all about it! Today's top story, you fuckers are douchebags! Hey, these claims are unsubstantiated! Don't you have anything better to do than push around Coop? 
Oh, bite it, Sawyer! Just get out of the way so I can kick the shit out of this shrimp! Kick the shit out of him, huh? You mean like the time you kicked the shit out of your pant leg, Chet? Uh... You did what? Babe, babe, no, I was sick You're and... fucking gross! Oh my god! I have to go shower? It was Ew! just a little nugget! Don't oh, touch babe, me! Don't be like that! Well, that was gross. Anyway, my lovely Sawyer, now that we're alone... Uh, hey, third party, right in front of you? Shut the fuck up, Smegma Breath! Now that we're alone, I've been meaning to ask, do you have a date for prom? I'd like a girl who has dirt on everyone. Fat chance, Kent. I'll be at prom, but strictly as a reporter. I can see the headline already. Kent not awarded prom king, cries for 72 hours straight, and dies a dehydrated husk. That's what you think. The school isn't letting anyone go stag. Damn it! No stag attendees? What is this, some kind of breeding camp? Face it, Sawyer. The only way into the dance is to give in to your desires. Take my hand and say yes. Will you be my prom queen? Actually, I'm going with Coop. Coop? You fucking serious? Uh, me? Really? <laughs> oh, I get it. You're playing hard to get to entice the big dog. Well, woof woof. It's smart. You gotta play games to win a five-time king like me. Uh... Meow. Looks like this cat has claws. Let the games begin. I'll pick out a nice slow song for us to dance closely to when you go with me to prom. Cause if you go with Coop, I'd have to kill him. <laughs> Wasn't that your bike? Oh yeah. Shit. How'd you know I didn't have a date? Um, call it a hunch. I didn't even know you liked me. Aw, of course I like you, little buddy. You're my favorite neighbor. And anyway, did you see how pissed off Kent was? That was awesome. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna murder me. Don't worry about that snooty prick. You gotta stick up for yourself, Coop. They won't pick on you if you fight back. You think? Cause last week I tweeted, Kent can sometimes be impolite, and he responded by swatting my house. Oh, I heard about that. Sorry about your dog. I miss Scooter. Yeah, well, you're on your own tomorrow, pal. I'm gone all day on a field trip. Stay strong, brother. Fight the power. Later, Coop. Cool, yeah. Damn the man, and so on. I am so screwed. Hey, Graham. You sure are full of life today. I've had such a wonderful day. I got some groceries, finished my Kegel exercises, and guess what? Your grandma has a date this week. <sighs> That's great, Grandma. My, my, my. You sure are devoid of life today. Tough day at school again. <sighs> yeah. Was it those bullies? Your old grandma can roll up her sleeves and knock some heads together! Please don't. Last time you helped, you only made it worse. Now they just say, Better call your grandma to come save you, pussy, while they punch me even harder. What? Are you ashamed of your old grandma? No, Graham, it's just... <sighs> Have you ever heard the phrase, adding insult to injury? Oh, sure, I've heard lots of phrases. Like, no matter how flat you make a pancake, it always has two sides. Yeah, but... Oh, oh, or you can't turn a hoe into a housewife. <laughs> Your grandma is full of them. <sighs> Boy, I'll say. Oh, I'm sorry you had a bad day. You know, you'll always be my little Cooper hero. Thanks, Graham. Cheer up, Coop. I know you like helping people, so why don't you help me out? When you're ready, I have a couple of things that only a superhero like yourself could do. Sure, Grandma. I'll talk to you soon.
free time at last. Now I can look, touch, and talk to all my cool stuff. Well, until I'm ready to go help out Grandma with whatever she needs, that is. I'd be talking to myself anyway, like I am right now. It's a pen, perfect for forging signatures. It's my hero, Psionic Steve. He uses his mind powers to save people. I really admire that. This poster used to be my father's. Maybe someday I'll be a hero, like Psionic Steve. Well, dress for the job you want. It's man again. Yeah, I'm gonna be an astronaut when I grow up. Well then. Damn it, I'm too short to reach the string. I gotta find something to hook it with if I'm ever gonna get up into the attic. Holy crap! This has to be the most absurdly long printer cable in history. Looks like it goes all the way up to the attic. I can't wait for this shower to be fixed. I can only bathe with Axe Body Spray for so long. Just so you know, you can purchase the $1 million DLC to remove the black censorship bar from this costume and, uh, see what I'm packing down there. It's a laundry hamper for Grandma to do my laundry because I'm lazy and legally dependent. Guess I could wear this when I'm having a bad hair day. So, every day? I don't have any back problems yet, but I am carrying around a lot of shame. Well, at least I can use this to reach stuff in high places since I'm such a tiny turd. I don't have any back problems yet, but I... It's a photo of Grandma when she was a young woman, back in the 1800s. Gross, they're covered in dust. It's a photo of one of Grandma's many suitors. Ugh. A book of matches. Now all I gotta do is find something to light on fire. Preferably not the house. I mean, touching it would make sense if I wanted to trace my hand to make a hand turkey. So, do I push your buttons? Call me. It's one of those light boxes that artists use to trace. I used to practice drawing Psionic Steve on it. It's a great way to rip off somebody else's work. Buddy, it's the new Cranium Cuddling Companion. Grandma's new garden is coming along nicely, especially considering how the cops confiscated her last one. The label reads, Oven Mitts, for protecting your little bitch hands. Who writes these things? Hey there, Coop! I completed my senior power workout routine! Uh, great. Long as I don't have to hear you having loud sex in the house again. My, uh, hearing aid ran out of batteries. I thought I was being quiet last time. I'm gonna go now. Hold on, mister! Your grandmother needs some help before you go. You need help. I hope it's not what I think it is. Excuse me? I told you already, Grandma. I'm done helping you cheat at bingo. Coop, it's not about that. We took a lot of prizes from a lot of innocent people, Grandma. I told you I was out of the game, and I'm staying out. The only people we hurt were the fat cats at Big Bingo, damn it! Anyway, that isn't what I need help with. I have some chores for you. Oh, sorry. Although, I hear they're giving out iPads now. I'll split the profits 60-40 your way. I said no, Grandma. Fine! Here's an idea. How about we soundproof the walls? I guess I'd consider getting some soundproofing for the bedroom walls. My future therapist thanks you. Those late night visits you have with Bernie are scarring me for life. Hey! Those things go both ways, Buster! I'm sick of you bringing down the mood with your constant sobbing! Yeah, uh, it might be best if I meet that future therapist soon. Did you pick up any good snacks? 
I sure did. All the prune swirl you can handle. Ugh, that doesn't really suit my needs as a radical teenager. I gotta have something on the go, preferably extreme. I also got some fruity roll-ups. Now that's more like it. Just try not to eat them all. I'm planning on fashioning them into an edible thaw. And I've lost my appetite. <laughs> Puritan. How can I help, Grandma? There's something wrong with the printer. I pressed print over and over, but I can't seem to get it to work. It's probably just out of ink. I'll take a look at it for you. There's my little superhero. Come find me when you get it working, as I'll need your help with one more thing. Aw, oh, come on, two chores? What about my active social life? Come on, Coop. Don't bullshit a bullshitter. Fair enough. I'd better get started. Thanks, honey. By the way, Bernie's coming by at nine tonight, so don't come around unless you're into hearing your grandmother reach a new plane of sexual nirvana. One second, my brain is repressing this conversation from my memory. And blocked out. What do you need, Grandma? Fix the printer. Got it. Thanks for helping, my little pile of coop. It's an old PC with a disk drive and everything. If the government is listening in right now, please send bully seeking missiles. Grandma's moved up from her old dot matrix printer. It has plenty of paper and the ink cartridges look fine. I wonder what's wrong with it. Work, damn you, work! Look at me, opening the attic door. I'm a big boy now. No thanks, it's probably infested with moths. This is insulation, and definitely not cotton candy that makes you miss two weeks of school because your tongue's so itchy. It's our Christmas tree. We've never had a real one, and I think the old one contains traces of lead. Ouch! My fucking fingers! It's just an old filing cabinet filled with boring financial papers and medical records. Looks like I got me one fine looking afro wig. Can you dig it? These mouse traps have never caught any mice. I don't feel like playing. I'll just end up injuring somebody. Again. Oh sure, I'll just turn out the lights in this attic. Maybe then I can break my neck a little easier. The only sport I like is running away from people who play sports. These are some of those lame fireworks that grow into a snake. Warning! These fireworks release an absurd amount of smoke. Fireworks may cause mild entertainment and or cancer. For outdoor use only. Suitable for ages 7 and under. Discard after October 1956. Jeez! These sound fun. It's the router for the printer cable. Dear Heavenly Father, please bless this miniature death trap, and may it kill many a small rodent. Amen. There's the problem. Looks like some rats chewed through the cable. Also, why the hell does the printer cable run all the way through the attic? Must be another installation business ripping off Grandma. Now to go find something to patch this cable with. Fruity rolls are delicious! And useful! I can't believe that worked! Well, it's a temporary fix till the rats find it. Eh, good enough. I'll go tell Grandma the good news. I got your printer working, Grandma. Atta boy! Now for my gardening problem. You need me to water your flowers? It's swarming with wasps. I need you to get rid of their nest on the roof. Wasps? Why me? I can't climb to the attic anymore. These old legs just aren't what they used to be. Okay, but shouldn't we get an exterminator for this? Wasps are above my pay grade. Coop, you're growing up so fast. It won't be long until my little man graduates and leaves this old home forever. You'll be moving and shaking as your own man out there, and I'll finally have this place all to myself. Well, 
me and Birdie, that is. We'll be testing if these old walls can stand up to my uninhibited, quivering, earth-shattering orgasm. Wasps. We're talking about wasps here, Grandma. But until then, I don't need an exterminator since you're such a good little helper. My doctor said I'm not supposed to get stung to death by wasps. Oh, Coop, we both know this family can't afford health insurance. Okay, but I'm still concerned about getting stung by thousands of wasps. You know, when your grandfather was still alive, he'd puff a cloud of cigar smoke on them and watch them drop like flies. Hmm, smoking them out could work. Do you still have cigars? Sorry, none. I quit smoking cigars when I started vaping. How am I even supposed- You should be able to reach the nest from the window in the attic. The attic again? Oh, I hate going up there. You know how I feel about- I guess it's wasp time. It was nice knowing you. Thanks, dearie. Let me know when you've killed the bastards. <laughs> Waspy little friends, sleep, sleep forever. Wow, I could be a super villain. what happened to the neighbor. I hope you kept that thumb of yours green, because your garden is now 100% wasp free. That's wonderful news! Time to prep and plant some petunia pals! Great! So I'm free to obsessively look, touch, and talk at the rest of the town now? You sure are! Right after you deliver these photos I printed. Aw oh, man. Okay, fine. Thanks, Cooper. Just stop by the Golden Haze Retirement Home and leave them with Bernie for personal use. Personal use? Gross. Bernie's easy to spot. Just look for a ravenous sexual stallion and a bulge you can't take your eyes off of. Say no more, Grandma. For the love of God, say no more. Mwah! Have a good day, dearie. Okay, guess I gotta head over to the Golden Haze Retirement Home now. It's the second saddest place in town. The first being my heart. So, what's it like wearing a chicken outfit all day long? Eh, beats being in high school. I legitimately can't argue with that. So, how's the chicken here anyway? Couldn't say. We don't serve chicken here. We only serve chicken. Uh, what's the difference? To legally call your food chicken, it needs to actually contain chicken in it. We can't make that claim. So, legally, the workaround is to call it chicken instead. Okay, so what's in it then? Herbs, spices, and a shitload of factory chemicals to create a chicken-like substitute. So it's like a vegetarian alternative faux chicken? No, there's definitely lots of animal parts mixed in with those chemicals. We just don't know what animals. All we know is that none of them are chickens. I feel like I'm going down a very disturbing rabbit hole here. Actually, rabbit could be one of those animals in our chick end product. It's a mystery turducken chemical in food product. This sounds delicious. So, what's a fella gotta do to score a costume like that? Normally, you'd need to become a full-time employee here, but if you'd be willing to help me out, I can score one for you. I guess that depends on the favor. 
Well, I just got a delivery order, and that's great. But research has shown that every time I step away to make a delivery, instead of standing here doing my sign twirling routine, we lose customers. Makes sense. So I need you to deliver this mother cluck and chicken order and have the customer sign the credit card receipt. That's it? Yep. Just bring that sign receipt back to me, and I'll get you a mother cluck and costume. Do we have a deal? Sure, I can swing that. Great, here's the chicken and the credit card receipt. Just take it to the pink house located on Knothole Street. Knock on the door, make sure they sign that receipt, then bring it back to me. Okay, got it. Good luck, Mother Clucker. Uh, the egg, right? Ha! He thinks the egg came first. You gotta be sh Um, ah. Uh, I think God- Your argument- This is in- Beep! God damn- <laughs> Um, the ch- Ha! Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, I think- Your argument- Look, I don't pretend to comprehend all the ins and outs of the universe. For Christ's sakes, I'm just a kid trying to survive high school. Maybe some crazy sciencey stuff happened, like a Big Bang, or a black hole imploded on itself, or some super god magically came into existence and started creating all this stuff. Listen to yourself! Big Bangs? Black holes? Are you kidding me? You're tying your logic into a Gordian knot, kid. It's a simple question, so just give me a simple answer. How did the entire universe come into existence? I don't know. Maybe it was laid by some kind of ultra mega chicken. Holy shit! Eureka! I think you figured it all out! This is it! This is the answer to our existence! You've done it, kid! You cracked the code! You've cracked the egg! You've unlocked the mysteries of the universe! Uh, I did? Yes! This is huge! I'm gonna write a book all about it! Hope you don't mind if I take all the credit. Maybe I'll mention you in the special- Oh, it's cool. Actually, never mind. Can't talk forever about nonsense with a delivery boy. Who the hell has time for that? Here, take the signed credit card receipt and get out of here. I've got some mother clucking chicken to eat and a mother clucking book to write. That was ridiculously complicated. And no tip? Someone ought to ultra mega egg his house. Okay, I delivered the mother cluckin' chicken and got the mother cluckin' receipt, mother cluckin' signed. That's mother cluckin' great. Okay, a deal's a deal. Here's your new mother cluckin' chicken costume. Wear it with pride. I'm not sure that's possible, but thanks. Delivering food to that weirdo in order to get this chicken costume was totally worth it. Okay, I may need to reevaluate my life decisions at some point. How the heck am I gonna take these condoms with me when I can't buy them? Hiding, hiding condoms in a super slurper cup? Genius! One large super slurper, please. Ah, uh, okay. Well, then you owe me 14,000 gil or $1.14. Here you go. Uh, thank you for coming to a Circle J. We hope you come again. Here you go. Uh, why did you just hand me a slurper cup? Look closer. Are those my condoms in there? Yep, one box of condoms, extra thick. Consider yourself helped. Thanks, you've made little Jimmy a happy chub, but uh, why did you have to soak them in an icy cold slurper drink? Don't tell anyone, but I stole it. Ah, the old five finger discount, nice. I'm proud of you, bud. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to prepare this condom for my prom night by poking a few holes in it, as is my limited understanding of condoms. See you around, chum. See ya. By the way, here's an extra large condom for your troubles. I heard you're supposed to roll condoms over the head, so I guess I'm supposed to wear this as a hat? I really don't understand sex. I brought this for you. Oh, I appreciate it, but I don't eat gluten. Trying to keep my girlish figure for bikini season. It's empty. I thought maybe you could, like, use it as shelter? Oh, hell, thanks, kid. I'll try it on right now. Wow, it's a lot roomier from the inside. And these grease stains have kind of an Art Deco vibe. Ha, a little clean it up and it'll be good as new.
Thanks, I'll take it. You may proceed, citizen. I just helped a homeless man find some garbage to sleep in. I'm a hero. Okay, that was strange. Well, onward to something more normal. Delivering erotic photos of my grandma to some old dude in a retirement home. Uh, excuse me, ma'am. Can I get by? I'm almost there, young man. <sighs> she looks preoccupied. Now might be my chance to sneak into Golden Haze. But how? Here goes nothing. Ugh, gross. I hate prunes. I'm already regretting this. All right, I gotta go deliver some prune swirls to these diaper-wearing fucks, so I'll catch you later. Ugh, covered in prune swirl sludge. Gross. I gotta wash this crap off somehow. It smells like farts, so I'm willing to bet it tastes like farts. Hey, I finally found Jesus! Rosaries. Oh God, I really hope that's not the guy my grandma's banging, but something tells me he might be. This guy looks pretty stab happy. I'm not gonna risk it. Hi, um, Mr. Bernie? Oh, did I ever show up in your room and take a shit on your bed? No! Then why the fuck are you showing up in mine covered in that fruit swirl shit? So clean you can eat off me now to deliver these photos and get out of here before they make me a lifelong resident hi um mr bernie huh what who let you in here what do you want pipsqueak my grandma wanted me to um deliver these uh photos hot damn it's about time what took you so long well first i had to knock down a wasp's net i don't give a shit i'm running unlimited time here so for all future deliveries, make sure to put a rush on them before my dick falls off. Is there anything you want me to tell Grandma? Tell my little honey bucket I can't wait for her to do that thing she does to me when she removes her dentures. Mm. Ugh, that's just too much. Oh, and tell her I talked to Gertrude, and she's game for that three-way. <gasps> can't you just write her a note so I don't have to tell her these things? Fuck no, I've got some salacious snapshots to spank my shaft to. I can't be wasting my time writing letters to her. You can bring her one thing, though. Head over to the main commons area and find Monty. Can't miss him. He's the one who's always sleeping. Rifle through his pockets till you find them virility pills that he uses on all of his mistresses. And bring the bottle to your grandma. She'll know what to do with them. <laughs> this sounds like something a kid my age really shouldn't be involved with. I agree. And the sooner you finish doing it, the sooner you can move on with your sad excuse for her life. So hop to it! Uh, I feel like I'm about to pass a point of no return. Should I continue? Please don't wake up, old man. I'm just borrowing your drugs. Uh, huh? Huh? What the hell do you think you're doing, lip dick? I I'm just getting these pills for my... Looks like we got ourselves a burglar! No, wait! You don't understand. Get him! Thief! Vandal! Wait!
wait! Hold on! Uh, I I didn't... I, I can explain! Freeze! Don't move! Get on the ground! Put your hands up! Hands behind your head! Now! Now put your legs behind your head! Now roll around a little bit! I said don't move! Stop resisting! Ow! Damn, this stuff is spicy. Well, another by the book arrest. Can we just take him downtown and brutally beat him within the confines of the law? Not today, I'm afraid. Turns out this perp is a miner. A miner? Ew, I can't believe I touched it. So what you're saying is this will go on his... His permanent record. Oh, damn! Even better! Goodness me, what's going on? Well, I'm afraid your grandson got into a bit of trouble down at the retirement home. Don't worry, though. The long arm of the law gave him a long spanking. <gasps> oh, my! My coop? Oh, I hope he wasn't too much trouble, officers. No trouble at all, ma'am. Not after we showed up. It's too bad we don't get perps this tiny more often. They're a lot of fun to take down. Better keep an eye on this one. Well, thank you for bringing him back, officers. I'll take the punishment over from here. Will you be needing this? <laughs> no, thanks. I'm sure I've got a bedpan or two that could use some cleaning. Ew, yeah. Yeah, let's get out of here before this gets ugly. I've already gone through trauma therapy twice. Have a good night, officers. <laughs> what the fuck, man? You're bringing the fuzz to my doorstep? What do I always say? Those pigs want to snatch my crops. Me? If it wasn't for your weird, horny chore and violent boyfriend, I wouldn't have been there in the first place. I didn't raise no narc. You're an adult now, Cooper. Not legally. You can be tried as one, and that would really harsh my mellow. Just tuck your stupid puberty hormones back in your pants before you end up behind bars. This is unacceptable, Cooper. You need to be punished. What? Why? What would the neighbors think if I didn't set an example and knock your trick ass down a peg? Let me spank you by the window so they can see. What punishment could be worse than being tormented every waking moment at school, all while living with my horny, strung-out grandma? <gasps> Cooper! Those hormones must be out of control! You've never spoken to me like this before. Well, Mr. Big Pants, how about no field trip tomorrow? How do you like them rutabagas? No! I hate them rutabagas! You can't do this! Too bad, Buster! I gotta keep my hose on a leash! God damn it! You don't care about what I'm going through! Coop, I... No! You treat me more like an errand boy than a grandson! You say I'm going through a phase? What about your creepy golden year sexual renaissance, huh? You only care about yourself! But... You don't care about me, Grandma! Grandmas just don't understand! I'm a complicated, unique teen going through unique problems that nobody could possibly understand! Coop, I had no idea! You don't want me! Nobody wants me! Not as a friend, not as a prom date, not as a grandson! I'll always be remembered as the freak no one wants! I wish I died in the car crash with my parents instead of being raised by you! Uh, I... suppose you know best. Yeah? And as soon as I graduate, I'm running away forever! So you won't have to deal with my hormones! Then I won't have to give a damn about what happens to this suck-ass town! Or you! Oh... Why do I keep acting out? Why do I only make things worse? What the hell is wrong with me? Maybe Ken is right. Maybe I am a stupid dick-lipped loser. Psionic Steve, I'll bet you never got yelled at by your grandma. I mean, if your grandma wasn't eaten alive in your tragic backstory, that is. No, you always do the exact right thing. How do you do it? I wish you were here to show me. You'd stand up to my bullies, not run from them. You'd help the elderly, not steal their sex pills. You'd have a prom date and be a somebody, not a lonely nobody. And if you were here, you'd show me how to be the hero of the story, and not a worthless freak. But you're not here. You're not even real. And I am all alone. I guess I'll go to sleep and try to forget about this suck-ass day. 
Maybe tomorrow I'll finally stand up for myself, get a prom date, and be somebody worth remembering. Maybe tomorrow will be better. Hopefully, better than all of my yesterdays. <sighs> Good night, Steve. to Sawhorse, come in. Don't forget to use proper CB lingo. Over. I'm over the radio lingo. Can you not be weird for like two seconds? This is important. Roger that. Reading you loud and clear. Over. Whatever. Anyway, have you been outside? Ken and his butthole patrol have been gutting for you all morning. They've like got some big end of school prank to pull on you or something. Might have to do with your butthole? Ugh. Over. Get Zooks! I can't skip school today! How the hell are my butthole and I supposed to avoid them? Today's a big field trip to the bomb shelter. You coming? I mean, I know they won't be going on the trip because Kent and his pals think that school buses are the chariots of the poor. Jesus! How do you know all of this? Over. I have dirt on everyone in this town, Coop. By the way, your hamster's dead. Oh no, he's just a sleepy little boy, aren't ya? Yes, you are. Over. Get over here, Duder. If you can make it to the school, at least you'll be safe today. But there's no way Grandma will sign my permission slip after my very recent felony arrest. Yeah, I heard. Didn't take you as the type of guy to grope senior citizens. You're pretty thirsty for a prom date, aren't you? What? No! It wasn't my fault! Look, I'll tell you about it later. <sighs> Any good ways to get past Kent and his shithead lackeys? You're on your own there, bud. I can't fight all your fights for you. Just watch out for them. They've been on a stakeout on Knothole Street, near the school entrance. If you can get around them, you're good as gold. Just do me a favor and try not to end up like your hamster, okay? Fat chance. I'm not even tired. All right. Well, I'll see you on the bus. Over and out, Duder. Wait, before you go... Can you make it quick? These covert government conspiracies aren't going to uncover themselves. I was wondering, w will you really be my prom date? If you help me find out what shady secrets our town has, everyone's gonna owe you one. So... Yes, if you help me out, I'll be your prom date. Plus, we all know prom is just a vapid social construct made to subjugate the masses into competing in pageantry for a plastic crown that is neither with glory nor power. <laughs> yeah, totally. Prom sucks. Besides, imagine the look on Kent's face when he sees me walking into prom with someone like you. <laughs> Right. It'll be hilarious. All right. Get out there and try not to be killed to death. Good luck. Okay. Love you. I mean, seahorse over and out. Hopefully not forever. Shit! If Grandma doesn't sign my permission slip, Ken and his gang are going to curb stomp me. Or worse. There's got to be a way to forge your signature. how to watch TV, but thanks for thinking I'm a total moron. Check it, check it, check it out! I found a check! I can get this slip to school without Ken and his gang finding me, I can avoid a beating and possibly live to see tomorrow. Shit! Kent, Brittany, and Chad are waiting right there to do their big murder prank on me! How the hell am I gonna get back to school when they're blocking the way? God damn it! Leaf blowers. Cool. These are great for propelling things. This is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Sometimes there's so much beauty in the world, 
I, I feel like I can't take it. But I want to take it. I need it. Even if it means caging this beautiful bird. <laughs> It's too high and you know it. Maybe this can blow me over the wall somehow. And that's not a fellatio joke. Ah, blow it out your nozzle. Got him. I heard that flypaper causes autism, so I'm just gonna take it away for you. Good work. I'm not not vaccinated for nothing. I feel like I'm about to pass a point of no return. Should I continue? Look, there he is! Oh no, he's using ingenuity! That's right, jerks. Up here I'm untouchable and there's nothing you can do about- <laughs> Got him! We're coming to kick your ass, you little queen! Shit, 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 shit! Mm. Ah, time for my favorite part. What delightful little joke do you have for me this time, Mr. Popsicle Stick? Why is the Cyclops such an effective teacher? Hmm, well, I can only assume it's his passion for education, but let's see. Because he only has one pupil! <laughs> when it's not about you. security laser beams in all those spy movies. Uh, I meant to do that. That's only gonna keep them out for so long. I better find another way out of here. How can erasers get me out of this mess? Think, Coop. Super spy, dodging laser beams. Okay, back to trying not to die. A Canadiation vial containing a secret formula? Or something to pour on waffles? Only time will tell. Oh sure, I'll just go mess with the screen that says danger in huge letters. Brilliant idea. Okay, that's the most ominous thing I've ever seen. Jesus! B -b what the hell is all of this? There's nowhere for you to run and hide now, Coop! We've got you now, bitch nips! We're gonna make you eat your own face! Wait! How's that even possible? Shut up, tits for balls! You are so dead! Uh, guys, I think you're taking this bullying thing a little too far. Come on, get him! 
Book him up, Kurt! Thank you.